I have an iPhone and my wife has an iPhone. I bought a clock app that I use on my bedside table at night. I got rid of my old night clock a few years ago and now I just use my iPhone. My wife liked the clock app I was using and wanted to know what it cost. I told her it was free because we now have the ability to share app purchases, meaning you only have to buy an app one time with family sharing. If you'd like to learn how to turn on and set up family sharing on your iPhone, and save a little money or, you know, maybe even a lot, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich and welcome to the channel. I've been wanting to make this video for a while and just haven't gotten around to it. A couple of years ago, Apple introduced family sharing and now you can share things like app purchases, iCloud storage, Apple News and Apple Music, and other subscriptions with up to five different people. One adult in the household known as the family organizer invites family members and when they join the family everyone gets access to subscriptions and content that's eligible for sharing. And by the way, you can do this on the iPad too. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up family sharing, how to send invitations to your family members, how to accept the invitation, how to download shared apps and use subscriptions, and then how to remove a family member if someone moves away. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is just how to set up family sharing. This is my personal iPhone. This is my YouTube iPhone. I've already set up family sharing on my personal iPhone. As I said, I shared some apps with my wife. But when you start it up for the first time, this is what you see. So if you go to settings and you tap on your Apple ID, and then you go down to family sharing. This is the screen that you get and you can hit continue. Here it shows that you can share subscriptions, share purchases, set up parental controls and you can hit continue. And now we'll ask you who you want to invite. You can, it comes up with some standard names or people who are common in your list or you can invite others. And then when you're done, you just hit done and invitations are sent. Now, I'm not setting up family sharing on this phone. I'm going to use my personal iPhone to send an invitation to my YouTube iPhone. Okay, what you do is you go into settings, tap on settings, tap on family, tap on the little plus up here to add a member to your family. And now I'm going to type type invite others and I'm going to do it via messages and I'm going to type in my phone number for my YouTube phone and I'm going to hit the send And now I click done. And that's how you send an invitation. Now here's how you accept an invitation. Over on my YouTube phone, I've got the invitation right here. And I'm going to view invitation. And I'm going to click on join family. And now if you go back into settings, you go into family, you see that I'm a member of the family. Then I can share subscriptions um, with my personal iPhone and my personal iPhone can share subscriptions with my YouTube iPhone. And that's how you accept an invitation. Okay, now that you've set up family sharing, you've sent out invitations, you've accepted the invitation, how do you get to the apps that have been shared with you? Well, you do go into the App Store, but there's a little trick to it to find it. So let me show you how that's done. So you go into the App Store, and instead of going through and searching for apps this way like you normally would, you tap on your little avatar at the top right, and you go to Purchased right there. And then you've got your purchases, things that you've purchased on this iPhone, and then you've got family purchases that have been shared with you. And here I'll tap on the ones that have been shared with me. And here's a list of everything that's been shared with me. And now I don't have to buy it again. 
So here's Activity Tracker. I made a video on that some time ago. And now I can open it up and I just go through the setup process and I'm done. And like that, I have opened up and installed an application that was purchased by someone else. In this case, it was me, but you see what I'm talking about. And that's how you get to the application. So again, you just tap on the App Store, go to your icon, go to Purchased, and then go to the person that shared with you, and then here is everything. And you can download it from there. And it's that simple. If you've shared subscriptions, say like Apple News, I have Apple News, it just shows up. And now all of the stories are there, and I don't have to pay for these stories because I've already paid for them on this iPhone. Same thing with Apple Music. You've got access to all of the music that's there. And that's how you get to the things that have been shared with you. All right, the last thing I want to share with you is how to remove a family member, in case you need to do that. So you go back into Settings. You go back into Family. And you go right here. This is who was just, we just shared. And now you tap on Remove Richard from Family, or Remove whoever that you've added from the family. I'm not actually going to remove me because I want to share stuff. But it's that simple. So again, you just go into Settings, your Apple ID, Family, click on the name of who you want to remove, tap on it, and then tap Remove down at the bottom. And that's it. Once you have family sharing set up, it's really a set it and forget it. My wife and I used to buy the same things twice, but not anymore. Family sharing has changed all of that. Okay, that's it for today's short tutorial. I hope you learned a few things and saved some money at the same time. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.